Welcome to another segment with Dave and myself. And today, oh, we are going to get technical. Now, you girly girls, I like you girly girls, I really do. Because a lot of you are actually trying. You know, and you, guys, and you, and you, and you get the stuff done, like you're doing the bucket, and you say, I can't get it to work. And I said, what'd you do? And I said, okay, and then you would go through it. I said, okay, did you remember, did you remember plugging it into the wall? Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I forgot all about that. I was so caught up in making the coil. <laughs> and that's cool. That is so cool. And for you guys who are not experienced, you know, you guys are desk jobs or whatever, you're not really technical. And you guys are trying it too. This is so cool. It really is. Now, this is for the targeted individuals and for the rest of us who are being targeted or hit, whatever, and the rest of you who don't think you're being targeted, that's okay, your time's coming. We'll, we'll wait when you come crawling through the door and saying, oh shit, you were right. You know, anyway. <laughs> Because I hear this all the time, you know, they, oh, I, come, I haven't seen that, I feel great, don't oh, you? Like, oh, man, I should, I should have paid attention to you, you know, it's like, okay. Well, that's just like any injury, right? You take things for granted, all of a sudden you slept wrong, and then your neck is all stiff, and you're like, I didn't realize how important that was, yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay, see this? Oh, this is going to give you back your sleep. Oh, we're about to make this out, now they put them? What are you looking for? A bag of magnets. Oh shit, what are they called? In, there's, isn't there? No, oh, no. That's the power oh, there's magnets right there. No, not those. I had a bag. Did I leave them upstairs? Crap. Oh well, I'll have to, have to pause it and get it. Anyway, we're going to show you how to turn this into a weapon of mass relaxation. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just titled it. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> and see this here? Oh, this little fan of mine. We'll block the frequencies, yeah. <laughs> gonna release, you're going to release a Christmas album someday. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'll work. Oh, that guy can really sing. Uh, must be a blue beam hitting my head. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See that little fan? Oh, baby. I'm going to show you how to do something with that. I, we probably did this once before, but I'm going to go over it again. Um, that's got to be rattled. Where the hell did I put it? Okay. And this. What was the other one? That, that. There was a third thing I was going to do. Okay, that, 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 that. I guess that was it. Okay, yeah, so basically, I wanted to show how we're... This is a mesh. And what we're going to... Yeah, I got to go get Metal that. mesh. Yeah, I got to go get that back. Where the hell did I put it? You mean metal mesh too, yeah, right? Yeah, metal mesh. Yeah. This yeah. is aluminum mesh you can buy at any hardware store. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to load this thing up with magnets. Okay. Then we're going to connect it to a power supply. That... These alligator clips, I got to go back and get, I forgot what, somehow we misplaced, I misplaced the, uh, the bag of magnets and stuff, so we'll have to pause it and have to go get them. And we're going to put this together and then you're going to put this on top of your bed and you're going to create a circuit where the, this, the flash unit with this power supply is going to pulse all night long. This is going to create a force field around you. Oh, oh, oh. And that force field is going to allow you to sleep again. And you're going to put a coil behind your head. I'm going to go get one of those too. We'll do that in a second. And you're going to put that under your pillow. And when you do this, you will put a field around you. Now, if you haven't put any kind of shielding in your bedroom, may not be a bad idea to consider that. Now, you don't have to use this material. You can also use this material as a shielding material. Put that all the way around your room if you want. Okay? Add magnets to it around the power supply. Guess what? You've got a Faraday cage plus. So anyway, Dave's gonna pause that. I gotta go back. Gotta go back upstairs and bring this thing down. And so now we can get at this. So we can show you guys, you targeted individuals and others, how to defend yourself. So we'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> as you can see, as you can see, we got just a simple screen. Metal screen. In metal screen, aluminum screen. In Canada, oh Canada, runs you about twenty-eight bucks for this. The United States probably runs you about twelve. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is they rape us more here. Uh, it's just that's just the nature of being in Canada. And if you're in Europe, it's probably going to cost you more. But anyway, this is just a simple aluminum screen and magnets. Now uh, you can use the donuts, dun da da, or you can use squares. Okay, and Canadian Tire, I think 349, Princess Auto, 
449. Uh, Home Depot 449 if you're in Canada. Um, Canadian Tire is the only one that really sells these. I don't know why. Um, Home Depot doesn't get them, and neither does Princess Auto. And I like Princess Auto too, but that's my go-to store. But Canada Tire it used to be a go-to store. Now it's Princess Auto, and now and I hate Princess Auto because you walk in there for one thing like this, and you come out with 25 different things. I think it's the blue beam hitting my head. That's what I'm going for. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> One of the rare times you'll get an erection, huh? Uh, no, no, no. I, I get I get orgasmic, but not that way, though. <laughs> that can cost you money. <laughs> Alimony's a bitch. <laughs> That's some serious money, then. That's yeah. Nope, it stays down. Down, Leroy. You know. What'd gonna, you call it, Leroy? <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, get, you just get me in trouble. No, <laughs> Leroy. <laughs> well, I can call him. Oh Willie. my God. Sometimes it's Willie. That's sometimes amazing. Else. <laughs> I like it? Leroy. I don't think I've heard Leroy before. That's Leroy, pretty... Willie, <clears throat> all kinds of names. You know. Oh shit. Swanger, banger, whatever that yeah, kind of thing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Back to this. Okay, so we got the magnets. Okay. We're gonna need a flash units. Okay. Uh, auto shops in Michigan, they're about six bucks, six ninety nine. Long life flasher. Yeah. In Canada, eight ninety nine. Again, be prepared to bend over, raping, let the raping begin. So anyway, that's just the nature of the beast where you live. Now, if you're living in Europe, those things may cost you a little bit more. Obviously, because you pay more to live in Europe, because you're privileged to live in Europe, whereas we're privileged to live in Canada. And so because of these privileges, we have to pay more. It's just the way it works. Okay, so now we're going to spread this. Now, this is about, oh, four feet, I believe. They even got a five-footer. And all we're going to do, basically, is we're just going to put magnets across, connected to the power supply. And the reason we're doing this is because a lot of you girly girls, which are, and again, I, I gotta you know, commend you. You're trying, and but then you get hung up on you know, certain things like splicing and cutting or whatever. And we're gonna start off with this. Okay, this is the power supply. This has got the little knob here, right? So you cut that off, so you know. Cut it off as close as you can. Boom, it's done. See, we cut it off. We just circumcised the wire. Okay, just think of it that way. Okay, now. <laughs> so we just go around lightly putting a bite on the thing just so we can penetrate the wire so that we can just pull off and as you can see now we have two wires okay this is for all of you to understand this we're splicing this is called splicing so we take this nice little nib and just see and now we've got the, the bare wire here I never really used it, but a good one to mention might be there's a there's a wire stripper that yep. is like an almost an automatic style. Yeah, yeah, they've got. It'll just put it'll yeah. just put a, the adequate adequate amount of pressure. Yeah, there you go. See, boom. Okay, that, that's yeah. that's just manual. Now, don't don't get frustrated if you don't get it right the first or second time, and you're down to here on the wire. Don't worry about it. It takes practice, just so you know. Rome wasn't built in a day. Always remember that. Okay, Rome wasn't built in a day. Now, we're gonna take any two. What I do is I just take these things off. These are alligator clips? They're alligator clips. Again, I bought these at Princess Auto because Princess Auto's got a better deal on them and they got the, uh, one of the better alligator clips. Again, this is in Canada, uh, the Princess Auto. So, I'm not getting endorsed by these guys. It's just where I happen to shop because they got all the good stuff. Canadian Tire doesn't have alligator clips like this, and neither does Home Depot. So anyway, we just put them in there like that. And I'm sure there's even lots of tutorials on YouTube of how to put. Oh yeah, yeah. But you know uh, how to strip wire, put alligator clips on. So basically, crimp it here at the end so that it doesn't move, right? And then all you do is just fold it over. This, this camera takes a while to focus. So she's locked down. Make sure you got the con just just squeeze it in there, and that's done. See, she's not going nowhere. Now, again, if you got a better method, use it. You know, this is not the only method. You got a better way, do it better. You yeah. know, 
that's that's all I'm going to tell you on that. This is just for those of you who don't have all the elaborate fancy tools. Again, this is this is basically bare bones, bare ass, you know, things. So just because you don't have the high sophisticated uh, Tim the Tool Allen, Tim the Tool Tool Allen Tool Kit, you know, like remember uh, Tim Allen, the, the Tool Man. Okay. Well, if you don't have all that, don't worry about it. You don't need all that <coughs> shit. Sometimes that's all overrated too. And sometimes the best technology is the old school stuff. You just crimp, crimp. See, she's tight, not going nowhere. Okay, we just fold it back over. Shit, like we knew what we were doing. And then just, you know, over here, we make the contact. You're building rockets, Tony. Building rockets, yeah. This is not rocket science, just so you know. And just get, and see, so now give it a, oh, look at that. Holy jumping. We're back in the set, look at that. See, you girl and girls can do this. Now, if I can do it, you can do it. Now, all we do now, take some insulation tape, hope we got enough. Oh yeah, we've got another one here, okay, cool. So take some insulation tape. I was just about to ask if they're gonna short circuit, so you're gonna, are you gonna, is that what you're gonna do, is yeah. tape them? Tape them, oh, so they say. Insulate. See, you know. Ah, ha, ha, ho, ho, ho. Now, what I do is I split them. See, we split them. Don't get any ideas, Dave, you already got two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine if your wife has seen that one. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> this is a. I keep telling you, lay this off that is a, This is an educational program and a half. Eh? Yeah. Okay, I keep telling you, lay off that tea up. You'll have 99 babies and your wife will kill you. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so we spread it. Okay. Put it in the middle, like that. Push down. So you got them separated. Boom. See? Separated. I put a little divot there, and so go over again. And now we're just going to wrap them up. See, now they're going east and west or north and south, depending on how you want. And so the, the wires will never touch, never short. And I put that, I put over, I put that over there so that if you got to grab the wire while it's on, it minimizes any shocking. I mean, this is direct current, so it's not going to really like hurt you. Shouldn't. Mm -hmm. It's not enough there to really do much. I, uh, work with um, ignition coils, that'll jolt you. Ask me how I know. <laughs> 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 you accidentally touch one of those and while it's running, oh ho ho. <laughs> All right, see there, look at that. Like we knew what we were doing here. Okay, so now we got our T, see there, look at that. North and south, east and west. And then just go here to reinforce it more. You know, all the way down. And look at that, your power supply is done. Bingo. Just give it a tug. Look at that. Dun -da -da. See there? Done. So now, that's half the battle. Plug it in. And if you want to test it, you can very quickly. Let's see here. Give you an idea. I guess just for liability, like you're, this is DC power that you're working with, yeah. not AC. Yeah, it goes into an AC plug, but it comes out DC, just so right. you know. That's the transformer. The transformer. Okay. So, so that's you're not that. working with high voltage. No, nope, not high voltage. No, it's actually, I think this is a 24 volt, 6 amp. So you approximately got what, 124 watts or something like that. Okay. This is your flasher. Look, it's a flasher. Cut it. Pull it out. It's ready to go. I forgot to do is bring another freaking item. Oh uh, yeah. Oh well. No. Okay. We'll we'll do it this way. Aha. We'll do it this way. All right. This is the. This is what this is. Is basically a bipolar coil. Well, the bipolar coil is the pancake coil. So you're creating a, a pancake uh, coil. What is I put? Um, <laughs> Well, it's a pancake, right? It's just a round circular coil. But it's uh, a but it's a wire just wound up on itself. Yeah, basically like a just, spiral. Just a, just a, like a circle. Yeah. So okay. Just got about 88 turns, and what I did is I put some cardboard and the sawdust material, because when I was using it for something else, the thing the wires with the coils would get hot. I got two magnets in here. I got uh, uh, micro microwave um, uh, magnets, magnetron magnets in here. Those things are powerful. So. 
we want to test this out we can test this out real quick so we've got a flasher here Connect one into there oh, sorry <clears throat> was, looking at, was looking at you not okay. what you're doing okay yep okay. yep okay the other to the power feel the power okay and then the other power see it's a circle okay let's see where's the plug uh -huh. Okay, so where is the plug? Do that one there? Is there one over here? Yeah. You want me to get that? Yeah, just put it in. Okay, go ahead. Oh, should sure have worked, but it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. Record and plug in at the same time. Yeah. There we go. Aha, is that power. power? There's your power. That unit has a light. Now. Oh, working. power's off again. Oh, shit. It should be fine there. Did this come undone? There we go. There we go. You hear it? Like a turn signal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is pulsing. We had a mag. Oh yeah, we do. Do you feel the pulse in your hands? Yeah. See the magnet? Can you see the magnet moving a little bit? Uh, I, don't think, I don't think it's detectable. Is it? It's just going up and down. Very yeah, slight. Slight, yeah. yeah very but, slight. but that's a pulse. Okay, so we know we got power. Okay, so we know that's working. Now we gotta get this baby to work. Oh, oh. okay, so this is out of the way. Just sort of stuff everywhere. That's out of the way. So is this is this uh this called a going. pancake? Like, is that part of the equation, or yeah. is that just for demonstration? Yeah, both. Part of the equation and demonstration. Oh. You're going to put that under your pillow. Oh, okay. Okay, under your pillow, and that's going to pulse. And what happens when it pulses? The nanotechnology disengages at night because you constantly are putting a pulse to it. Putting a magnetic field around it would have to be an extremely strong magnetic field, but it would then cause problems with you. But a slight pulse is all it takes to disengage the programming. Let me explain about nanotechnology really quick. Nanotechnology is a singularity. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Separated by a nanosecond. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. When you hit it with a pulse, it first wipes out the program. And if you hit it with a multiple pulse, which is what we're going to be doing, then what happens is the nanotechnology touches itself. All these particles are different sizes, different shapes, and different dimensions and on a nanoscale and separated by a nanosecond. When they touch each other, they go kablooey. You are now using nanotechnology against itself. That's how I discovered how to beat the thing. You know, you know that song? Nanu, 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 hey, 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 goodbye. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> that's what they're singing. That's what Damn they're... it. I was always wondering what the words were <laughs> to that song. It. That's what they were singing. Nanu, nanu. Okay. <laughs> so that's what they were singing. Now, <laughs> this is not a cure. Well, let me emphasize this. We're not going to cure nano poisoning anytime soon. Not until those skies stop spraying. Not until they quit putting shit in our food like silica and nano silver. But we can reduce the effect and reduce the damage and the assembly in our bodies by using certain frequencies and fields. Now another way to amplify this is to expose yourself to an infrared light while you're being pulsed. And that infrared will take that magnetic field four centimeters deep into your body shutting off that program. I decided to use the terahertz frequencies in reverse. I'm not going to go into the terahertz range, but I am going into a range, an EMF range where I can now use infrared aiming it at me while I'm being pulsed, allowing the pulsing pulsations to go deeper into my body. The stuff that comes on me today is black, burnt, uh, cooked. I have seen bots. I have seen implants, I have seen all kinds of wonderful shit come out of me, circuitry. Especially here, if you look here, I've got, looks like I've got a bit of a scar going on here. Because there, what I've been pulling out has not been calcium deposits like they've been telling us. Another line of bullshit. You've got circuitry going on right there. 
thought that was your third eye, Tony. That's, that's what I mean. The third eye is being circuitized. It needs to control your third eye. So, now we're going to take the magnets. Dun, dun, dun. You don't need any glue. Let the magnet do the work. One. Be careful with a knife, too, because uh, I did something stupid the other day. And now I got a black and blue finger. <laughs> uh huh. So, now it doesn't matter which way you put the field, it doesn't matter at all. Just gonna start putting them on. Now, we're gonna design this so this goes all the way up your body. Now, when it gets to the heart area, you go around it. Don't put it directly on the heart. You go around it, go up. People with pacemakers, should they watch out for this kind of thing? Uh, it, sh it should be okay as long as there's not a direct... Uh, the pulse is not going to be that strong. They can try it. If they find that it's <coughs> going to uh, cause any kind of mayhem, just continue. Okay. But it shouldn't. Okay, again, the keyword here is shouldn't. Just going to warn people where, where it may be necessary. Yeah, oh, you have to, for sure, for sure, for sure. Because you have to understand, you have you know you better than I know you. I'm on this side of the camera, so I'm just trying to give you, and this is for the general population, but if you do have a health issue going on that, uh, again, requires you to pay attention to some of the things that we're showing you, you know, there you might have to go a different way or a different alternative, just so you know. Okay, so, another magnet, ah, like I knew what I was doing. Okay, so, we'll go down. This would, be, this would be down by the feet. Because mm -hmm. we're going to put this down by the feet. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, the magnets are the expensive, really. They're the big, the big money ticket because you've got to buy so many of them. Now, if you can find a cheap place to get your magnets, there, are, there is a company called Apex Magnets online. they got magnets on sale. There's... Um, Oh, these guys here. This company here, I, uh, when I open it up, they're pretty good too. They're a pretty good price. Um, if you can get them cheaper somewhere else, if you found a better deal, by all means get them better. Uh, if you're in the United States, I'm sure you'll probably find some kind of wholesale place that might be cheaper than uh, what we get up here in Canada. Uh, just to give you an example, the Neodimes. It's just about to ask, the, will the neodymes, you know, are stronger the better kind of thing? Yeah, uh, you can do that if, if you can afford it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, in Canada, these are $10 for three, unless they're on sale. Princess Alice usually got the better sale on these things. Uh, in the United States, they're like three bucks for three. So that, that tells you the difference. So again, it all depends on your economics uh, with these things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Hey, look, it's starting to, starting, to, starting to develop here. Okay, so we're going to throw this over the... Sorry, sorry. I don't want to offer that. Man, this thing really... You want to hold something? I'm going to throw this here. That's why everyone have a, 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 like a view of what we're doing. So we're yep. gonna, yeah, it's we're, pretty good. We're going to go down the line. Now, whoa, more magnets. Now, I'm I'm doing different magnets. I did it for a reason. You don't have to do it what I'm doing. You can use all the same type of magnet. If the donut magnets, uh, uh, you know, are in your budget, use them. If uh, the, the um, rectangular magnets are in your budget, use them. You know, if the... If you need to buy circular magnets, by all means, uh, use them. You know, little tiny ceramic magnets are the size of a quarter. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, 
and before you know it, you'll have a magnetic personality. People will be attracted to you. You won't know why. Look at that. <laughs> That's a side effect if side I ever heard of one. Side yeah. effect of being around magnets. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't even have to do this. What am I doing? I just pull this apart. <laughs> I think you just like using that knife. Yeah, tonight. that's what it is. My magic knife. It's, uh... Yeah, Hillman is another company. Down in the U.S., again, you buy the ceramic magnets for a buck and a quarter in Canada, three forty-nine. So, welcome to Canada, eh? The land of the great tax. Where we make whiskey, sell it to America cheaper than we can buy it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> It's our way. It's our way. Yes. We won't feel we won't feel normal unless we're screwing ourselves tight. <clears throat> okay, so as we get down here, okay, either way you go, okay, I'm, this is going to be where the feet are. The reason why I'm doing it that way is because we got the three magnets. Now we're getting up to the head area here, and so I don't want anything near my heart. Okay, I like to have my heart working properly, and I really don't need to have my heart getting all. Knocked, knocked around because again these magnets with this with this mesh you put a pulse to it will have a different effect so I'm going to go around and need that area open so when I'm laying there this is at my feet this is going toward my head I'm leaving that area open just so you know we're good I don't want to wake up and all of a sudden you know my heart's out of my chest and attached to some piece of iron because it's magnetized. <laughs> hey, give me that back. No. Okay, so here we go. Okay, one more. Hey, like I knew what I was doing there. Time that I got that. Pretty good. Aha. And Last but not least. Okay, so we got them on. So now we need to make this into a circuit. So what we're gonna do, let's see here, aha. Uh -huh. We're gonna connect, doesn't matter how you do it. Oh, where did go? Did I do something? Oh, you know what, I forgot. Oh, well, you gotta it. get that in the circuit? Yeah, so basically, Oh, I see. So you need another touching. wire. Yeah, see it's here clicking? Yep. Okay. You've got the circuit. The circuit's complete. Now, if we had a magnet, we could actually feel maybe a slight pulse here. But this is pulsing. Yeah. Okay. Now, I should have had another freaking wire. All you need really is... So, so, just to, so you've got your power supply, one end going here, yeah. and then it's coming through... To the coil. To the coil, which is by your head. Okay. Which the, the coil from the head is then going to come through that... See here, look. You see, see it sparking? Uh-oh. So, no, no. That's just to show that we're making contact. Oh, yeah. No, no. Okay, see? Well, this is this is now causing that mesh to... to uh, magnetize. Not magnetize. I'm sorry, to... Pulse. Pulse. While that's on you, while you're sleeping... Now, basically what you do is you would get another wire with an alligator clip here, just for those of you. Right, right. And just clip it on. doesn't matter where you clip it. <clears throat> that creates a circuit in a series, a circle, a series circuit. When you put that on your bed on top of your comforter or your, or your blanket, and you got that on, initially you might find the body temperature go up a little bit. Do you have any aches or pains or anything in their body you feel like somebody just you know, beat you up, your back is killing you, your head, you know, whatever. And you go under one of these things, it is a godsend. You wake up, oh, is that what it feels like not to have pain? <laughs> hmm. Now, at the same time, you are going to put this by your head. Now, you may need to, again, get another uh, wire with an alligator clip because this might be too short. But for, for you know, uh, example purposes, just for de demonstration, we're showing you this, okay? Simple, this underneath the pillow, oh, you will sleep so deep, okay? If you set the alarm or somebody's talking to you while you're still sleeping, you might think you're still dreaming. So some of you haven't dreamt in a long time. I'm one of those types, again, like you, I haven't dreamt in a long time. And, we got this, okay, these are extra, okay. And so, you'll find, you'll rest, this puts a barrier around you. Okay, a barrier around you. Okay. Now, you can do take the same principle I just showed you here, and you can line your walls up all around and your ceiling. 
If you live in an apartment, you have to hit ceiling, walls, and floor. Now, what you can also do, let's say you've got a mattress, spring mattress that's got metal. You can connect that spring mattress as well into the circuit. It will, mm. it too will, will pulse. And what happens is you got this on top and the spring on the bottom pulsing you. You have to wear a grounding strap. You have to make sure you have a direct ground. You have to wear a grounding strap because you're in between two fields and if you don't have a place to discharge, you are going to be the capacitor that builds up the charge. As long as you have a grounding strap going out connected to a ground, it'll have somewhere to go. You will sleep like a baby. Okay. So one or the other is fine yeah. without a grounding strap. If you're going to use the two, use the grounding strap. Yeah. But if you I use would, the two, it's going to be more effective. Yeah, I would probably say use the grounding strap anyway. Oh, okay. Because you're, you're putting this on you. Okay. That's a, you have to, I don't adhere to these guys saying the stuff is going through you. It's better that it goes through you and out than to keep on going inside you and building up and building up and watching your cells come undone because you're overloading the myelin and you're overloading the, the, uh, the lipids around the cells. Better for it to, to go through you because you don't, you don't destroy nothing that way. It just goes through. It's like a trickle. Out it goes. And at the same time, you're getting the protection you need from the frequencies. Okay. Targeted individuals, this will be a big, big, big boon to you. You'll be able to at least rest a little bit, and some of the aches and pains from being hit with these frequencies are activating your mitochondria or destroying your mitochondria. This will give you a reprieve. We have no idea. This will give you peace of mind. You'll be able to sleep and go into a state of sleep where your body can start to regenerate again. This will help tremendously. You have no idea. No idea. Um, what we're going to do, okay, <clears throat> we're going to show you a demonstration. I, I just I built a chamber in my shop. I've got people sometimes that come in here because they're all uh, stressed out or whatever, or they got pains. I put them in the chamber, into the chamber. And um, oh yeah, you let uh, people stay there to re-energize. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Sometimes for an hour they come out feeling you know, like brand new. Um, so we're just going to give you a, a peek view of what's going on. Let's see here. Let's go there. Let's connect this. So and then, and this flasher, what's the what's the significance again of the pulsing? Well, the flasher is creating the pulse. Right. It's on and off. Yeah, but, but what's... When you flash, when you pulse, you're creating a surge of, of, of uh, energy to, to, to hit the nano. Okay, when it hits it, it's like a wave. Okay, so now you wipe it, you're wiping it clean. Putting it in the field won't necessarily do that. I see. It, it, may, it may, on some level, cause um, uh, some disengagement, but as a whole, um, if you don't really hit it with a good charge or a good pulse, yeah, you may not get the, the best impact. So like this is the disruptor in the yeah, hole. Yeah. Is the, yeah. Okay, so, let me see here. We can explain this real quick. So you can make this kind of room. And if you don't have a whole lot of money, you don't need a whole lot. Just be innovative. Find what, um, find what axis of discharging. Look, this is okay for those of you. Again, North America, United States, and Canada. You can buy this. This is basically a, uh, a cooling padding. You can use chicken wire. Okay, the, the, the things are big, the holes are big, but they still may work. You may have to o overlap them, like... Oh, need bigger magnets as well, to, uh, so that obviously... But yeah. also, but if say they can take that. But you see, the finer, the tighter the, the hole, the better it performs. So if you want to take that and do it twice, mm. where you intersect it, so you cut the hole size in half, and then put your magnet, it may work. Like I said, just be a little innovative. Give me a second here. Where the magic happens. Magic happens. Well, no, no, no don't say that because that costs me money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just to give you an idea, just take a view from there, Dave. Yep. Okay. See here? <clears throat> the mesh is here. We got fans running on four, three sides. We got the shielding going. We got a bifiler coil. This is a bifiler coil, just so everybody can see. Okay, hold on, Dave. Yep. 
better? For oh, I can still see it. In, in fact, that was okay because I could see the halo. Okay, now that's a bipolar coil. This is where we're ready to see it. Just a pancake coil. Okay. Yeah. Use speaker wire to make it. It works really well. That hangs. It's got magnets. It creates a torch, torch field. You got insulation all around. The bed has it. You got another wire here connecting the circuitry with the spring. It's all connected. You've got the fans creating the toroidal uh, field effect, and you are in a bubble. This is your grounding strap to where you're wearing the ground, put on your ankle, on your wrist, and now you're good to go. So this is a nice chamber. So if you're if you got one of these in your in your um, in your office. Okay. If you got one of these in your office, and let's say you're or in your shop, home, and you're getting hit heavily with the frequencies, you can go in that room for a short period of time and find uh, any room you build, not my room, but any room, and you will find yourself getting relief. Okay. These are innovations that, again, I developed. Uh, Again, talking to different people, coming up with great uh, different ideas. Um, I collaborate with people all over the world, Yugoslavia. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Got caught? Yeah. Your zipper caught. He might. See, this is why we talk about cost your money. <laughs> <clears throat> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, just put a video together of bloopers. Yeah, this be is... my thing alone here. <laughs> see, but you everyone's like, I have no idea see. how how that happened. Yes, see, this thing's possessed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, oh, oh, you know. I can unplug this? Yeah. Okay, finally. All right. Be innovative. Okay, be innovative. Okay. These guys are playing for keeps. They're playing for your DNA. They're playing for your mitochondria. They're playing for your genetic code. This will go a long way in helping you, a lot of you recover. Um, You'll be able to sleep again. You'll be able to have less pain. Um, those of you who are targeted, just under the bed, under your pillow, you know, that pulsing, you will find so much relief. Uh, you may have actually have peace of mind for a change because you're putting a magnetic barrier around your head, a slight one, and it will go a long way in reducing some of the assaults going on in your mind. I think we did show, didn't we show how to make this once, the fan? The fan, yep, where we glued the magnets yeah. to it. Okay, so this, again, those of you who live in Canada, Princess Auto, uh, they actually had them on sale for nine bucks, but they usually go for about 17. And those of you in the United States, um, shop around. Um, I don't know where you would get these, probably some electric shop, Amazon, eBay, whatever. But I mean, they, they're, they're a little cheaper in the US, I think they're about 12 bucks or something like that. So, uh, there you have it, all put together, done, you can sleep, pain relief, I mean it's incredible. When you wear the grounding strap and you have this on, the pain in your body will subside. After about five minutes laying in bed, you all of a sudden will feel like there's relief. Now initially when you get into it, you may find it has a certain sort of a energizing effect, so you may not be able to fall asleep right away, but after a couple of days, you're just, it's, you're, it's amazing, just amazing. So, and again, Another means to help all of you get over some of the things that you might be dealing with. This can go a long way, like I said, in helping a lot of you. So, wear the yellow lenses. Some of you have floaters and you find, you'll find that if you wear the yellow lenses long enough, the floaters will let go all by themselves. Another means to help you heal. 
All right, make sure you're getting saturated fat in your diet. No omega-3 to cut that shit loose. That's garbage. The omega-3 causes the myelin to break down, causes the cells to break down. The saturated fat is what you need to keep things solid. Avoid the C60s. The hydrogen products are out there. Hydrogen in the system, when it gets hit with terahertz frequencies, the body's water is separated from the cells, releasing the hydrogen, which amplifies the terahertz. So your mitochondria gets more damage. So pay attention. When you hear products being sold today, how do these products respond with frequencies is the question you should be asking yourself. Okay? That's the question you should be asking yourself. Artificial intelligence is looking at, at again, studying you to, the, to death. So they can subjugate you and assimilate you. This is where we are born. We're here to assimilate you. That whole concept is a reality. Okay. So be aware of some of the shit being sold today because it can hijack you by amplifying the frequencies you're already being hit with and make them even more potent. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Millennials, drop the damn phones. You are being turned into a mush head. You have no idea how the AI is just, just twiddling you around their fingers. You don't have to have the latest and greatest toy. You don't have to have the latest and greatest widget and gadget or the 5G device. Oh, pay attention to the Hopi prophecy. Man's house will kill him. Everything now is AI interface. Your machines, your, your washer, dryer, your stove, they talk to each other. They're talking to the hydro companies, your electrical companies. Your television will now talk to your radio. Your radio will talk to your thing. And, you, you know, uh, I don't know how many you <coughs> heard uh, last week or the week before, 29 scientists were killed by artificial intelligent bots that they were developing for warfare. And when they, were, when they were started taking them apart, the fourth one was accessing a network in the satellite, figuring out ways to circumvent these scientists, in other words, to take them out, how to it was able to be able to augment itself to take it out. This is the reality we're dealing with. This is no longer some television sci-fi thing. The sci-fi was to was to de destabilize you and de disarm you. This is where we're at today. Pay attention. Look at the swarm that they're talking about. Little tiny robot will follow you because it's got your DNA signature. Pay attention. Pay attention. Don't get caught up on the toys. Oh, TV, oh, you, AI, na nano, oh. Pay attention. You don't need directed energy weapons inside your home. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Anything else? Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. Hey, did you say pay attention? Pay attention, yeah. yes. Okay. I said pay attention, yeah, there we go. All right, till the next session from Dave and myself. To your health, have a good holiday. Take care.